word. Um, if you are a shoe collector, if you're one of those fellas, someone who likes to get their rocks off with their kicks off. <laughs> is that a is, is God, that a you sound like such an old <laughs> you sound like such an old man saying that. Rocks off with the kicks off. I'm just like making it. it up. Um oh. <laughs> If that's you, if you're one of these collectors, this is probably really important for you to watch. Um, Ready? Yeah. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a cake. So watch the second video. Watch the second video? Yeah. And I'm really happy you said that. I thought it, I, I thought it was paper, paper mache. Paper I'm, mache? I'm not as happy that you said that. But the cake one, I'm glad you said that. Why aren't you as happy? You'll see. Look at boy, this. Ain't no way, boy. boy, ain't no way, boy. I'm going to show you the importance of actually wearing your shoes. No, that video is not fake. That's a 1999 pair. And midsoles over time crumble like that, especially if you don't wear them. Someone in the comments also said that they thought it was a cake. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> here's some proof. Right here is a pair of Olympic sixes from 2000. They've never been worn, but they're cracking. And the midsole is in sad shape. I can do the same thing. Shit. Also, these Air Max 90s, these are dead stock. And you wouldn't believe it either. But this is what happens when you don't wear your shoes. Now these two shoes are from 2006, the same year. These Tour 4s have been worn thoroughly through their lifetime. It's given the midsole and the materials time to flex, and I have full confidence that I can wear them again tomorrow if I wanted to. These shy pinks have only been worn a couple times, and you can tell with the condition of the midsole. Beat up shoes will always outlast a dead stock shoe. Wow. So, you know people who collect shoes with the hopes that the value goes up and years later they can sell them? Yeah. Your best bet is to actually just wear them and keep them clean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because um, wow. on um, on uh, the other podcast I have, right, there's a guy that collects shoes, and I'm talking about the really expensive shoes, and he wore one to the podcast, right? And I said, bro, what are you doing? He goes, I go, aren't they like $800 shoes? And he goes, yeah. I was like, why are you wearing those shoes? And he goes, you have to wear them. Otherwise, they're going to like just fall apart. And I, I, I didn't understand what the frick he was talking about until you showed me this video. They literally fall apart just by scrubbing it. That's amazing. That is amazing. Hey, Sage, how do, your shoes would never um, fall apart, eh? You compress them pretty well. You know where you can kiss with that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes will last forever, <laughs> mate. Uh, mate, I, I got a spot for you to kiss. Uh, yeah, you know, right yeah. now, I, I don't, I don't want to be rude about people that are watching this the show. Yeah. But like, I got, I got somewhere for you to kiss. <laughs> All right. The B side word. <laughs> 